Hello, my name is Tyler. I am an alumni from Bain Company, and I focus on digital marketing. I've been a Shanghai local for four years, and today I'm going to be your host. Today I'm going to take you starting from here in Shanghai and to the tier three and tier four cities deep in China. Shanghai is the host of many Fortune 5 companies headquarters in China or APEC, including Ford, McDonald, and Michelin. Shanghai is nicknamed the City of Magic for its being magnificent and diverse. It got a population of 25 million people, and its GDP is ranked number one for Chinese cities. This is a vivid and international city. Mobile technology has changed people's ways of life and the rhythm of the city. QR code has become the daily lives critical infrastructure and also the new blood of the economy. For example, you can search for on the bicycles anywhere in the city on your mobile app and use it to unlock the bicycle and start your ride. Welcome to Taigu Hui. This is one of the newest hypermall complex in China. The concept of hypermall is a complex of interconnected experience, live events, dining and entertainment, and of course shopping all together in a large space. All the people in Shanghai, from the old wealthies to the rising middle class to the young students and the white collars, come here to shop a different range of products and get experience from a cup of coffee. To luxury goods, even to an electric vehicle. Chinese companies and multinational companies alike are leveraging the best of the latest technologies to create smooth customer experience and using the CRM system to increase the customer loyalty. Hey. My order is ready. This is more than just a space for shopping, but a space of arts, experience, and all sorts of fun in life. Even the e-commerce player is embracing the brilliance and the newest offline channel. Tmall, Alibaba's biggest e-commerce platform, is also having a showroom here at Taiku Hui. The show is also broadcasted on the air directly to Tmall's live streaming channel to give the online shoppers a view at the same time of these offline events. This pet section here is attracting the white-collar young city pet owners here, who have more cats than dogs. You can see here are many imported products as well as snacks and functional pet food. Now we're going to take a metro to the train station again with our mobile phone. You can either buy a ticket with your mobile wallet or directly go into the station with your mobile phone.
now we're on the train. We're going to Jiaxing, a nearby tier 3 city. This is a high-speed rail. It is take us to Jiaxing, which is 100 kilometers from Shanghai, in nearly 27 minutes. And now I feel a little bit thirsty. Let me order some drinks on the train. Okay. And I'm waiting for my drink. And now I'm just flipping through a magazine I found on the train, and you also see QR codes everywhere. Now we're at Jiaxing. This is a city of 5 million people and a per capita GDP of roughly 1 13th of Shanghai. We're now at a shopping mall in Jiaxing. It definitely looks more approachable than a hypermarket in Shanghai. This is where the people in the town spend a lot of time doing the dining and also finding good quality products but at a good value for money. The shopping mall is more targeted for the mass market and just look at this door. Isn't that adorable? Of course, you can also find many multinational brands here in the shopping mall, but the stores look more humble and focus on making the products available for lower tier city people rather than building a premium brand. And downstairs is Yonghui, a supermarket chain in China. Here it offers a wide range of products. The space and the decoration looks practical as well as the products themselves. Yonghui and other Chinese supermarket chains alike are bringing a large volume of fresh products produced locally in China to a large volume of consumers every day. The price tags are much lower in the premium supermarkets you see in Shanghai, but the product quality is definitely trustworthy. The products you can find here are more affordable, mostly locally produced, and using promotion and a discount to push through the sales. The convenience of technologies are brought equally to the high tier and the low tier consumers. Here at the checkout of the supermarket, people are using automatic checkout machines to finish the purchase and make the payments. We're now going to Jiaxian, a tier four city here near Jiaxing by the Uber. This is an Uber app, but this is also more than Uber. It has bikes, car rentals, as well as public transportation functions, all in one app. Here it comes. Hello. Here we are at Jiaxian, a tier 4 city just 15 miles outside of Shanghai. This city got 400,000 population and a per capita GDP of 115th of Shanghai. Here, the people get most of their daily needs satisfied either from online shopping on e-commerce platforms or on the stores just on the side of the streets. In low-tier cities, people have more dogs than cats.
We talked to the owner of this pet food store in Jiashan, and he said, people around here focus on the quality of the products, they prefer foreign brands, and they get the information about the product from the social media. However, the products sold here are mainly locally produced foreign brands, and if you want to get imported products, you need to make pre-orders in order for the owners to get the stock. This is a wet market. Low-tier city people love to shop here to get a raw, fresh product which they can cook at home for a lovely dinner. Even in a wet market, digital payment is accepted. Wow, this is a bargain. Besides the fresh products, you can also find different sorts of condiments and even drinks here in the markets. And as the name suggests, the floors are damp and you can smell all the different flavors from the meat, from the vegetables and also from other rural products. We've offered some snapshots of different tiers of cities in China and also did a fair bit of shopping. As you can see, the customer experience, the store formats all vary across different cities due to the economic and the demographic difference. But the convenience that technology can bring is equal in these regions.